Now you can steal MIDI using the harmonizer feature in the Hexacorp or Producer Suite. Crab Tendo. What is going on guys? Oh boy. It's going to be a real one right here. We're checking out Hexacorp or Producer Suite. 2.0 we're going to talk about some of the new updates and stuff but more importantly we're going to focus on the harmonizer feature and yeah we're going to see how good it is at stealing midi and remixing it so therefore let's get into that first and we'll talk about those other features the links in the description just in case you are interested in purchasing it i'm going to check out orb course first and we're gonna check out some of the new features here. It is an affiliate link, by the way, guys, so it does help support this channel at no additional cost to you. And I did purchase this with my own money, so there's no reason for me to nudge or anything like that. I just wanted to use this. So let's check out the stealing chords part. I'm gonna go ahead and use Harmonize, which is meant to harmonize different MIDI that you might have, some older beats or anything like that. Uh, however, I did a video not too long ago, top right of the screen as well, and it's, it was about Metro Boomin and Young Gunna and Space Cadet. I'm gonna use that theme here. I'm gonna put it in here. And it is a F minor, so it is correct on its calculations. I'm gonna go ahead and use a chord and I'm gonna keep everything else the same, but you can change the time signature and the bars. Uh, let's harmonize, boom. So let's hear what we got. Yeah, absolutely. So that's actually good. It actually works. But one thing I did notice uh, when using this before is that these tabs over here are a bit wonky. I want to move this over properly and I'll, let's see if we can do that. Yeah, you still have to do it one at a time. There's no way to highlight it, even though it allows you to drag and it looks like it would highlight that. So that's a feature request here. Uh, this is 2.0 again. So therefore, if you haven't updated, make sure that you update. So let's go ahead and hear it now. It's at the right BPM. Let's hear it. I want to fix that here and just to make sure that it sounds good, I can go over here and randomize all chords just in case, and it will randomize all the chord progressions to keep all the other options open. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. It can remix MIDI and whatnot if you don't like the word steal, uh, but people are going to do what they want to do. So uh, one thing I do want to do is use Orp Melody for the next part here. I want to see how good it is at cross talking because it does communicate with, you know, chords. You got to start with chords first, by the way, guys. You can't just start with melody. You start with the chord progression. Yeah, it's sounding very, <laughs> it sounded very kinetic. Uh, one thing people were saying in the, Last video, again, at the top right of the screen, if you want to see the, the full review or the video that went very viral, um, let's go over ahead and uh, select a preset here. That's what you saw me do as I went up here because this is a synthesizer, guys. It is a wavetable synthesizer. And that is incredible, right? So let's go ahead and hear what we got so far. I'm going to hit MIDI. I'm going to bring this down an octave here. So I'm gonna go over here and mess with the, the suite. All right, so, you know, maybe you're not a fan of the way table synthesizer in here. So I got Falcon open and it has a piano uh, attached to it. So what I need to do here is since I'm in that, I'm gonna go and turn off the synthesizer. Yes, you can drag and drop into your DAW, into any DAW, it does work in every DAW. Hey, yeah, <laughs> so you're like halfway there. So the next thing I want to do is just go ahead and drag this over and I'm going to go to chords here, turn off that synthesizer 
let's hear what we have in terms of Falcon here and let's see what sound it is first though. Okay, we're using Saturn. Okay, cool. I'm gonna make sure, <clears throat> matter of fact, let's go to orb chords. I'm gonna go to octave zero. And now let's uh, drag that in here. Yeah, I know a lot of people are going to hate me for this video and love me at the same time. You know how it is on YouTube. Eh. But yeah, it works. <laughs> it works very well at that. And I am actually really shocked at the results. So the new harmonizer feature gets a thumbs up from me. So next thing I want to do here is go back into orb chords. And what we're going to do is check out some of the other features that it has. So one of the things that you could do that I like is this right here. Let me go ahead and activate the synth and you can mess with velocity now. So you can mess with velocity per step, I, I, I presume. And I don't know how that naturally works here. So yeah, you can highlight all of them and mess with all of them at once. It looks like, no, eh. Well, at least you could do velocity, I guess. Another feature that I think is pretty good, but at the same time it's like, eh, is this right here where you can edit your notes. So let's go ahead and hear that. Yeah, so, you know, one thing I do like about it is that you can do this and you can actually uh, mess with the note size too as well. And you can uh, choose to go into different step modes too. That's not something that's new, the step mode part at least. But one thing I will say as far as complaints for 2.0 in terms of this, uh, it would be nice if it actually reharmonized or redid the chord progression when you do drag it up so it will tell you, you know, what it is. Uh, also, another feature that I is in 2.0 is that you can record the MIDI in there. So what you could do is if you have a MIDI controller, uh, you can play with some chords and you know, just have something different. So I can change this from the B flat minor to an A flat. So that is one thing I would like to point out there. So let's hear that. So now that we have that in there, that's pretty cool. Uh, also, it says you could do this uh, per part. So what I'm gonna do here is uh, play different stuff per part. I guess I had to uh, turn both of them on. Hmm. It, it doesn't really seem very streamlined. That's my thing. But yeah, it's still there. That's cool. So what I'm gonna do here is just roll the dice and get something different. And you can also do different inversions now. You can choose one or two. And as far as major functionality, yes, you can do uh, different parts over here, color intervals. And that's awesome. Another new feature that you could do in here that I think is pretty cool is that you can rename the theme here. I can name this Space Cadet. Boom. Press enter, you know, just normal type of stuff and then I can just move on to theme two. Uh, theme two will uh, have about the same characteristics, I guess. Let's uh, hear what theme two is. So not everything carried over from theme one or whatnot, but it did stay in the right key. And I believe that was the thing that everybody was complaining about. Um, yeah, uh, just as a little reminder here, it does come with other parts of the suite here. You can have bass lines and stuff like that. When you use a bass line or any other plugins from producer suite, uh, it will be in harmony with the other ones. Let's go into chords here. So you can imagine, yeah, there you go, you would have that. And last but not least, there, there is this right here, because a lot of people complained about uh, human touch and stuff like that, because they said it sounded robotic. Well, here you go right here, you can go into human touch and adjust that in the melody here. Let's go ahead and hear this over this part right here. I'm gonna use it. Yeah, 
Yeah, so pretty decent. Pretty decent. So, tell me how you feel about this plugin in the comment section. I can't wait to read it.